Top 10 Richest People in France Number 10, Thierry Dassault Net worth, $8.7 billion Thierry Dassault is one of Serge Dassault's four children who inherited their father's wealth when he died in May 2018. In 2019, he succeeded sister Marie-Hélène Habert as the supervisory board president of family-controlled aerospace and software firm Dassault Group. He has been in and out of his family's company since 1979, with stints in the film world as a producer. He also runs his own investment vehicle, TDH. Marcel Dassault, Thierry's grandfather, founded Dassault Aviation, a French aerospace company that started out making propellers in World War I. The Dassaults also own the country's daily newspaper Le Figaro, Vineyards, and a private aeronautic company. Number 9, Stefan Bansel, net worth, $9.2 billion. Stefan Bansel is the CEO of Cambridge, Massachusetts-based biotech firm Moderna, known for its vaccine. He became CEO of Moderna in 2011 and owns a roughly 8% stake in the publicly traded company. Before joining Moderna, Bansel was the CEO of French diagnostics company Biomeriax, founded by fellow French billionaire Alain Muriou. Moderna's vaccine was approved by the Food and Drug Administration for emergency use in December 2020. Moderna was founded in 2010 and went public in December 2018. The company develops drugs and vaccines using messenger RNA. Number 8. Rodolf Sade. Net worth, $10.9 billion. Rodolf Sade is the son of late shipping magnate Jacques Sade, who died in June 2018. Jacques founded CMA CGM, now one of the world's largest shipping companies, in Marseille, France in 1978. Rodolf jointly controls the company with his siblings, Tanya Sada Zini and Jacques Sada Jr., as well as his mother Nyla. He took over from his father as chairman of the board and CEO of CMA CGM Group in 2017. The $23.4 billion in revenues company operates more than 500 vessels, serving 420 commercial ports in 160 countries. Number 7, Patrick Drahi, net worth $11.9 billion. Telecom's magnate Patrick Drahi is the founder and owner of multinational Altus NV, which he took private in January 2021 at a $7.3 billion valuation. Drahi built Altus with more than 20 acquisitions of lagging cable and mobile operators and has expanded further with highly leveraged deals. He stormed the US in 2015 by buying a 70% stake in cable operator Suddenlink for $9 billion and snapping up Cablevision for $17.7 billion. Those US entities were spun off into Altus USA, which went public in June 2017. In October 2019, Drahi acquired auction house Sotheby's for about $2.6 billion, taking the 275-year-old firm private. Number 6. Emmanuel Besnier. Net worth, $19.1 billion. Emmanuel Besnier is the CEO and controlling shareholder of family-held Lactalis, one of the world's largest dairy firms with $20 billion in sales. His father founded the company in 1933. It now sells products including President Brie, Milkmaid Yogurts, and Valbriso Feta. His younger siblings, Jean-Michel and Marie, split the rest of the ownership in the family's milk and cheese giant. Besnier and his siblings own stakes in Parmalat, the maker of Baby Bell, Fromageries Bell and Borson. Lactalis now employs 85,000 and owns more than 266 plants in 94 countries. Number 5. Gerard Wertheimer. Net worth, $32.9 billion. Gerard Wertheimer has a net worth of $32.9 billion as of 2021. Mr. Wertheimer is a French businessman and billionaire who owns the fashion brand Chanel with his brother Alain. The company is based in New York City, USA, and Geneva, Switzerland. Gerard works with his brother to provide executive leadership for the company, and he oversees the watch division of the business. Number 4. Alain Wertheimer. Net worth, $32.9 billion. Alain is the brother of Gerard Wertheimer and a partner in the Chanel designer brand. Together with his brother, he has an equal share in the company. This places his net worth at $32.9 billion, 
making him the fourth richest person in France. Alain serves as the chairman of the French luxury brand Chanel. He works alongside his brother to keep the continuum of success going for a company that is possibly one of the most famous luxury designer brands in the world. Number 3, Francois Pinot, net worth, $54.7 billion. Francois Pinot is honorary chairman of luxury group Kering, which owns fashion brands Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen and Gucci. Pinot founded Kering, which started as a wood and building materials company, in 1963. In 1999, Pinot changed the direction of the business towards luxury goods when he bought a controlling stake in Gucci Group. The $16 billion in sales company, which also owns watch brand Gerard Paragos, is run by Pinot's son, Francois Henri. Pinot and his family own iconic auction house Christie's, plus a 3,000-piece art collection with works by Picasso, Mondrian, and Kunz. The Pinot Collection Museum is set to open in the 18th-century Bourse de Commerce building in Paris in 2021. Number 2, Francois Betancourt Myers, net worth, $87.4 billion. Francois Betancourt Myers is the granddaughter of the founder of L'Oreal and the richest woman in the world. Betancourt Myers and her family own around 33% of L'Oreal stock. She has served on L'Oreal's board since 1997 and is chairwoman of the family holding company. She became France's reigning L'Oreal heiress in 2017 when her mother Lilian Betancourt, then the world's richest woman, died at age 94. Betancourt Myers also serves as the president of her family's philanthropic foundation, which encourages French progress in the sciences and arts. Number 1. Bernard Arnault, net worth, $186.1 billion. One of the world's ultimate tastemakers, Bernard Arnault oversees an empire of 70 brands including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. In January 2021, LVMH completed a deal for American jeweler Tiffany & Co. for $15.8 billion, believed to be the biggest luxury brand acquisition ever. LVMH spent $3.2 billion in 2019 for luxury hospitality group, Belmond, which owns or manages 46 hotels, trains and river cruises. His father made a small fortune in construction. Arnault got his start by putting up $15 million from that business to buy Christian Dior in 1985. Four of Arnault's five children work in corners of the LVMH empire, Frederick, Delphine, Antoine and Alexander. On May 24, 2021, he regained the status of wealthiest man in the world, with his net worth climbing to $186.3 billion. This occurred as sales of LVMH's luxury goods surged in China and other parts of Asia.